How do we raise our trilingual children? That's the topic of the day. I'm going to be sharing with you some short clips of my kids speaking the three languages. And as well, I'm going to be giving you every detail of everything that my husband and I have been doing for the past four years. So maybe that will get you motivated and to keep on going and doing a great job with your own children. Or maybe it might give you one or two ideas to implement right away. Hello everyone and welcome to Multilingual Family. Andrea here, teacher specialized in languages. Welcome! On this channel I'll be sharing with you tips and tricks and useful material. So if you're new here, consider subscribing to my email list because you will get everything there for free. Before we start, I would just like to say that I'm going to share how we do it in our family. But this doesn't mean that this is the way to do it. There are many ways how you can make uh, how you can support your children to become multilingual and maybe there are things that we do that do not fit to your family feel free to not do them or maybe there are things that you are doing that we haven't picked up yet so if you have a new idea or something that has worked out very well in your family please comment it I would love to read that I'm going to share this with you also because the have been having some parents asking me how we do it and how, how it's been working out with our kids. So let's get started. So first of all, we use the OPPO method. One person, one language at home. Um, and we do that very strictly. I mean, my husband and I put a lot of emphasis on, on speaking our language and not switching. So we, we really pay attention to that. We, we basically never switch to another language unwillingly. But because I grew up already bilingual, I practice Swiss German and German with my children as well, but only under certain circumstances and wearing things on my head, I like a hat, to visualize and make it very clear that now we are switching the language. But I have done some other videos about that. I'm going to put them down below. If you're interested, just watch those videos as well. So now I'm going to show you a little clip of my daughter speaking to me in Spanish. And after that, you'll see a little clip where I switch to Swiss German using a pompon. And she knows that the pompon means now we're speaking in Swiss German. And see how that works. ¿Qué estás haciendo? Estoy haciendo ¿Un rompecabezas? Rompecabezas. Ajá. ¿Y para cuántos años es este rompecabezas? Para cuatro años. ¿Y cuántos años tienes tú? Tres años. Pero ya mismo cumples cuatro, ¿no? Ya cumplo yo cuatro. Qué bueno. ¿Y qué, ¿Y qué hay en este rompecabezas? ¿Qué se ve? Con, con un tractor. Hay un tractor. Y creo que es un granjero, ¿no? Granjero, tractor. Un granjero y un tractor. No, mami, eso no va ahí. Eso no va ahí. Es que tú sabes hacer bien, ¿no? Sí, pero este ya está fácil. ¿Está muy fácil para ti? Sí. Tenemos que ir a buscar un rompecabezas más difícil. Es que ese ya le conoces tú, ¿no es cierto? Este rompecabezas ya has hecho muchas veces. ¿No es cierto? Sí. Mm. No, no necesitas ayuda. No, pero, pero a los bebés les gusta que hacer ayuda. ¿A los bebés les gusta que les ayuden un poco? Sí. Pero eso no es todavía para bebés. El Nil se traga las fichas. Sí. No es cierto. Pobre Nil. ¿Por qué pobre? Porque, porque él se quedó solo la quita. Se quedó solo en la quita. Ya mismo tenemos que ir a ver. Ojalá no haya llorado mucho. ¿No es cierto? Ya le vamos a ir a recoger al Nils. ¡Listo! A ver, enséñame cómo hiciste. ¡Qué bonito! ¿Ah? Muy bien. Vamos a hacer una falsa. Una falsa. ¿Cuál? Teto. Teto y 
Alles falsch. Was steht denn da? Suche die gleiche Figur. Haben wir aber jetzt nicht gemacht. Jetzt haben wir so willkürlich alle hin und jetzt kannst du schieben. Ah, oh, alles falsch. <lacht> so schlecht. Jetzt machen wir eine richtig. Ja. Oh, da gefällt mir. Was steht denn da oben? Wo entdeckst du diese Tiere? Jetzt sagen wir da links an. Das ist ein. Was ist das für ein Tier? Schildkrott. Und wo ist sie? Die hat sich versteckt. Gut. Ja, genau. Und dann haben wir hier eine Maus. Und wo ist denn die Maus? Gut, machst du das. Auch versteckt. Und was ist das für ein Tier? Ein Sommervogel. Ja, und ein Schmetterling. Ein Schmetterling. Genau. Und, und Sommervogel heisst das auch. Da, Mami, schau mal. Was hat es dort? Ich sehe nichts. Da musst du schauen. Ah ja, er nimmt alle Wägel mit. Wieso? Weil er braucht sie. Er braucht sie. Dann machen wir weg. Da hat es ein Schöfli. Schöfli. Und das Schöfli versteckt sich auch in so einem Häuschen. Oder im Stall vielleicht. Da. Gut. Und dann haben wir da das Häschen. Da. Nein. Und der letzte ist ein... Bravo. Jetzt kannst du ziehen. Mal schauen, ob wir es richtig gemacht haben. Was ist richtig gemacht? Tata, alles gut. Kannst man falsch machen. In the same way, when the father is talking to her, she switches to Danish. Ich habe eine Ich Ich habe Ich Ich was ist denn? Ich glaube, es ist etwas dentro. Haha. Wer kann das nicht mehr? Wer kann das nicht mehr? Wer kann das nicht Ui. Ja, oder? Geh hier dentro ein Konecho. Ui, suena. Ich werde dich nicht so bei dir da. Was ist hier? So wie sie da tritt. Ja, da kann du sehen. Ah, du kannst sehen. Na ja, sie sabe. Oh, danke. Geh dich mit Mami, so kann du spielst dann der sehen. Ist es für dich? ¿Y a quién le dices gracias? ¿Tú es un taxi? ¿Me abrucí? ¿Por qué tu mami? ¿Me abrucí? ¿Qué le dice el tío? Gracias, tío. Mm. Then, what we also do is we visit our friends and family often. Okay, because our countries are a little far away, we don't go several times a year but when we go to visit them we spend several weeks with our family and friends so our kids are really immersed into the culture and the language they experience what it is to speak in that language and they see that it is a useful thing to know to be able to communicate with people that are important to them also our family and friends visit us several times uh, a year and so there they get in contact with the language and the culture of the languages that we do not speak in, Swiss in Switzerland. What we also do is we sing a lot of songs. <laughs> We sing the whole time because singing is such an easy way to learn texts by heart. We also put our kids into a Swiss daycare for two days, 
So they are the whole day immersed in a Swiss German surrounding. And the idea behind that was that we really needed somebody to, to speak to them in Swiss German, since we mostly do not speak with them in German or Swiss German. I mostly speak with them in Spanish. And seldomly I use a hat or a pompon to practice Swiss German in German. Now that my daughter is almost going to kindergarten, I want her to to get a little better in that language. But other than that, I only speak Spanish with her, her and my little boy. We also started using media like um, videos, Peppa Pig or Mozzie or similar videos once in a while, but just for like 10 minutes or so. Uh, she also watches uh, music videos for kids. I think those are very useful as well. And what we also did was as soon as I was pregnant, we, my husband and I changed our language. We used to speak in English together for several years, but as soon as I was pregnant with my first child, we decided to switch to Swiss German so that my kids would have three languages in the beginning. And maybe later on, she and my little boy will be able to pick up English and French at school. But for the moment, the only languages that are important to us are Swiss German, Spanish and Danish. Another thing that is important to mention is that our kids grow up surrounded by kids that speak Swiss German and that is on purpose like that because until now Swiss German, that's the surrounding language, is the weakest and the strongest language of my daughter is Spanish and Danish but so that in order for her to learn Swiss German, it's important for her to be in contact with other kids that speak also Swiss German. In the same way, I try to find families and kids that speak Spanish. So sometimes we do some play dates with those families as well. So she keeps on developing her Spanish skills. Question of the day. Do you use the OPPO method? What have been your experiences? Tell me about it. I would love to discuss with you and learn from your experiences. Please write your comment down below. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. Please give me a thumbs up, share and subscribe to my email list. Keep on doing a great job and talk to you soon.